G'day guys, it's Liam from Daisu Designer Homes. I'm here with one of our licensed builders, Mark Avery. Um, Mark's been involved in New Steel and Daisu Designer Homes for, for many years, so um, I suppose over to you, Mark. How long have you been building with, with I suppose, originally New Steel Homes and then Daisu Designer Homes? Yes, well, I, I built the second home that New Steel ever put out 30 odd years ago, so I've been building their homes off and on for 30 odd years now. Yeah, good stuff. And, um, and how many homes do you think you've built in that time? Probably 150, 200 homes yep. all over Queensland. Beautiful. And um, well, uh, what are the advantages that you would say having a licensed builder on site would be? What are the main, main ones that sort of spring to mind? Well, having worked with owner builders and being a licensed builder myself, uh, there's an awful lot of stress for owner builders. Um, the procedures, contractors keeping everyone in line you have to really know what you're doing otherwise it can get away on you license builders um, obviously because they contract they keep an eye on everything as it goes it takes the stress off the owners if it's a good contract a good builder he will work in with the owner so that the end product is exactly what the owner wants um, and it's a three-way tie with the owner New Steel Homes, or there's you and, uh, and the builder to get the product finished exactly the way they want it. And is there any one sort of style of home that you generally specialise in? No, most of our houses are all, because they're all one-offs, one-off, um, there's just so many different designs that we've done. Uh, there's no average sort of home that you do. We've, I've done every design that you could possibly think of, I think, over yeah. the years, yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, and what's the most remote build that you think you've done with us? Yeah, well, I do a lot of specialise in doing remote area work as well, which is out in the middle of Queensland, mm -hmm. up in the Northern Territory. Uh, I've built a couple of houses overseas in uh, the Solomon Islands, in Bougainville, Fiji, uh, up in the Highlands of New Guinea. You know, so yeah, the job takes me everywhere. <laughs> That's good. And obviously every job has its own challenges and, and um, aspects that you've got to overcome and get right. around and that sort of stuff. Yeah, e every house is different, you know, and it's got its own little um, intricacies. intricacies. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, you just have to work along those and get through them the best you can. Yeah, no worries. And what's the most challenging build that you think you've done? I did a big two-storey house on the canals at Raby Bay, just out of Brisbane, uh, where they're a very narrow site. Um, and we had to start working from the back, which is the canal side, with the swimming, swimming pool, all the landscaping, and had to work our way out to the front. So we basically had to finish it as we went from the back to the front. Yeah. And that, that was quite a challenge. Yeah, excellent. And, um, I suppose a bit of a light hearted one to finish. What's the uh, what's the funniest thing that you've seen an owner builder do on a site before? Well, I've seen some classics, but I think probably the best one I've seen was a bloke laid all his frames out around the edge of the house, and then he went to stand them, and he had them all upside down, and he was <laughs> actually he was actually standing all the frames upside down when, <laughs> when I turned up. <laughs> Building his house upside down. Eh? Yeah, yeah, he stood all the frames <laughs> the wrong way around. Yeah. Excellent. Well, Mark, thanks for your time, mate. You're obviously a wealth of knowledge, and um, we really, really love having builders of your quality working with us as a company. So, mate, thanks for your time. The house looks beautiful here. It's yeah, finishing yeah. off really well. And, um, yeah, cheers no, for having it. a chat. Thanks, mate.